Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So this video is gonna be a girl talk. So go get you some water, some tea. We're just gonna sit down, talk about girl stuff. If you're a guy, you can leave now. There's no need for you here. It's actually really girl stuff about this area. So see your way out. First of all, this video is sponsored by Cherish, which is a premium sanitary napkin company. And what is sanitary napkins, you might want to know? They're pads. And you guys know what pads are for, right? Right? So first I want to tell you guys why I wanted to work with this company. Because you guys know I don't do a bunch of random sponsored videos. So at first I did not want to work with this company. Unfortunately. Because I don't like pads. I hate pads. They are just dumb. They just dumb, okay? I like tampons. I don't have to worry about my underwear. I don't have to worry about anything feeling a little weird down there. So about a, no, nah, since high school, <laughs> since I was in high school, guys, I have had an issue with yeast infections. If you guys don't know what a yeast infection is, you can go Google it. This video is not about yeast infections. Well, it kind of is, but I don't want to get into the details of what a yeast infection is and how you get it and all that kind of stuff. So definitely go do your research on that. But I am very yeast infection prone. So um, ever since high school, every time my period came on, I got a yeast infection, like within the same time. I know it sounds ridiculous, right? But it was true. Y'all know how you, your like breast don't hurt a little bit or like, um... I don't know, I hear all kinds of stuff and it lets you know that your period's about to be on. Well, mine was I get a little itch, literally. If I had a yeast infection come on, that would mean that I am getting my period. It was so awkward, so weird, um, and it was like clockwork every single month. <laughs> and um, I was like, what in the heck? Why am I always getting itchy around this time? And so, just recently, I just kind of got fed up with it because then I started getting um, bacterial vaginosis. They're both infections, but um, bacterial vaginosis is caused by bacteria, which can be like soaps and stuff or just something different that kind of throws off your pH balance in your body. So, that's just completely different than a yeast infection but they kind of interact the same way and a yeast infection can cause the bacterial vaginosis. So it's just so much y'all, it's so much. But honestly, I just got tired. I got to the point where I was getting yeast infections and BVs and yeast infections and BVs and I was like, listen, I need a change. So I've been going to, of course I have a gynecologist and I get regular check-ins and all that and regular stuff. So I just been telling her about it and we've been trying different things and then she finally was like, you're gonna have to give up those tampons for a minute because we need to see the problem. And she was like, at least do it at night or so. Just kind of like, don't sleep in the tampon or whatever. I mean, I knew I wasn't supposed to sleep in the tampon the whole time, but I really hate pads. And they are bulky for sure, first of all, because I felt like people could see it. <laughs> and second of all, I just did not like the feeling of a pad because once it got wet, then I felt wet and I didn't like that. And I didn't really find any pads that really sucked up everything and made me completely feel dry. Like, I don't want, I want something that if it goes in, it ain't, that's it. It's down in like a deep, deep hole and I'm not going to feel any wetness down there. You know what I mean? When Cherish reached out to me, I was intrigued because first of all, they, they give you, they talk about, it being completely natural and the fact that tampons aren't as natural and um, even if they're 100% cotton, there's things in the cotton and all that good stuff. So I was like really intrigued because I was really going through that particular issue at that time. So I was like, okay, I will start doing this. I have a company that reached out to me, so I might as well try to use some pads every once in a while. I haven't done that since high school. Like I haven't worn a pad, guys, since high school. So... They did send me four different types. They have um, the Night Use, which is purple. All right. And this is the packaging. Isn't it like super duper cute? And you open it like this. So I've used these guys. So you open it like this and you just take one out of here and you could easily reseal them. Like all of them are like this. So if they always look perfect, that's why because... 
they design the packaging to actually still look perfect. And let me, I guess I'll show you guys what it looks like. This is the nighttime sanitary pad. And it looks like this. Okay? Like some are thicker, some are thinner. So this one is 280 millimeters. And this is a daytime use sanitary pad that is 245 millimeters. And this is the one in the pink pack. And then you have the overnight use, which is a thicker one, which is the 320 millimeter. These are for when, you know, maybe like the first night, that's what this would be for because it's very heavy duty. It's gonna really suck up everything that comes out of you, just saying. And then you have the panty liners that they have, which come in the green pack, which are super thin. You know, you use these on like the last days of your period and stuff like that. Most of mine are nighttime use besides the the one daytime one, which I haven't really used this one because I still do use tampons um, during the day just because I still prefer them. But at night, they have the night pads and I love them because when I get up in the morning, guys, when I, when I tell you I don't feel like I, my period was on other than knowing my period was on, this uh, these pads absorb everything. So I would have to say my favorite ones are these bad boys just because I'm not, I'm not necessarily super, super heavy when my period comes on. If I am, I will definitely use this. But these are my favorite ones. Now, these have eight layers of comfort, prevent leakage. They have natural cotton in it. So it's a natural cotton. It's extra soft, y'all. These are super soft like I would show y'all. But I honestly don't want to waste my pads. <laughs> They're very like breathable when you're wearing them. It doesn't feel like something is pressing against you, which I like. Like I said, guys, I do not like thick pads or anything thick down there. I, I like for everything to be flowy and airy because I do get a lot of yeast infections and a lot of wetness is what causes that. So if I'm super wet down there, that's causing my yeast infections, it's making it worse. And it's also creating odor and all that kind of stuff. So if you are looking for a good pad, make sure you just look for something that absorbs all of the moisture and keeps you dry. That is the most important thing is that you stay dry. If not, you have yeast infections and bacteria vaginosis and you're gonna be mad. Like your girl. So now, just to let you guys know what I'm doing while I am wearing tampons, I do take a yeast infection medication daily um, to treat it. Well, not daily, but like daily when my period is on, just to make sure that it is not affecting my body at any cost because the yeast infection will turn into bacteria vag vaginosis and then you have to go to the doctor to get medication. So I try to make sure that I keep that medication on hand when I am wearing tampons and at night I do wear the sanitary napkins. Sounds so cute, right? Sanitary napkins, so cute. Yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna do more um, personal talks like this, let me know in the comment section below and I will let you, I will, I will do it, but I, this is me testing the waters. <laughs> Because I don't know what you guys kind of want to see and if you are comfortable having these conversations and me talking about this on camera because I am 28 years old so I kind of know how it goes down in this department a little bit. I know a lot about it. Um, so yeah, hope you guys like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.